great choir. And musician, my grandson, Ruben State Jr. Amen, amen. Mr. Lindsay, now you need some cough drops. Oh, 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 oh. Sit down, I'm going to tease you. Let us give a great big God bless you to our choir director and Sister Ruth on this morning as well. God bless you. My, my, my. my brothers and my sisters, I would like to take just a minute to recognize my grandson. He's doing such a wonderful job with our choir here at the church. You see, this is my this is my daughter's boy. And she named him after me. So you got to understand that the name Spade carries a lot of weight in the kingdom of God. Can I get a amen? Amen. Bless him. Uh, I promise my daughter and God Almighty that I will take care of this boy and raise him up to be a mighty warrior for him. So it is for that reason and that reason alone that I stand before you, my brothers and sisters, to inform you that my beautiful wife and I will stand up Mother Abel's space. Yes. <laughs> We've decided to name our grandson Ruben Spade Jr. Assistant Pastor here at the church. Sometimes, sometimes you have to make tough choices in this life, Reuben Jr., you hear me? Yeah. But it's, it's not those tough choices that make you a man. 
That's how you do with every choice made that does. But why did you choose me, Pops? I, I just don't think I can feel those shoes. Listen, Ty. I love you. Just remember that. I love you too, Pops. Oh, wait a second. Hold up. Now, I saw you talking to Bates' gal over there. there. <laughs> saw you looking at her. Yeah. Up and down. <laughs> you just remember one thing. Be gentle with her. Okay. Because her family, oh, they know the difference between a boy and a man. Which one are you? Hmm. Hey, hey, Pops. Yes, Pops. I'm a man. All right, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.